I hope you're doing groovy, baby. My name is Fox Soul, and welcome back to another video here on Lords of the Fallen with our character Ash Williams. And I'm going to go to another boss fight, which I honestly think is another easy boss fight, and going to hopefully give you some tips on how to approach this fight and beat this fight. And yes, we will be using range again on this fight drastically, like. I can't tell you how powerful range weaponry or magic is. So the first fight that we're going to be going into is against my good old friend, the bell bro. We're going to run over here. And if you remember how we got the lump hammer, we took a left instead of a right hand turn. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We're gonna come this way. I totally recommend before you go anywhere, put a seedling down right here. Because if you die, which there's a possibility you can die here because Bellbro has some special abilities all his own. You wanna be making sure that you have a short run instead of that long run. So we're gonna just make our way up here. We're going to pass the canine and it's master. And we're going to keep running up this hallway. Now. First and foremost, we might need to kill the canine real quick. Let's see. Are they coming? Don't look like it. Okay. So. Get your lantern out right here real quick. And before you even approach this fight. Get as close as you can right here. Drop that out. That's going to save you a lot of trouble. Another thing will save you a lot of trouble. Try to get rid of these guys first. They should, they should come towards you a little bit here and there. We're not trying to activate the boss just yet. Now... I'm kind of curious because I've been told that this is an optional boss fight, which I don't don't believe that this is optional. I think you actually have to do this if you want to progress the game personally. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another way of doing something. When Bellbro comes to you, fucking run away from Bellbro. Don't want to deal with that son of a bitch. Hit him on the head. Make those fucking ears ring. We're gonna reload our arm. We're gonna reload our ammo real quick. We can. Take a soul out so that way we can pop that and run. Trust me, running is the key in this fight. Get rid of that guy. Let's get up here. All right, when he does this, oh, we're out of range. When he does that, you basically want to dash either into it for much. I'm trying to lead him up here because what makes this fight, it, what I've done with this fight in particular to make this easy. There he goes. Let's knock him out a little bit in his head. We want him to come all the way up here. And as soon as he comes up, jump down. And watch. There you go. He takes a thousand damage from fall damage like that. You can actually beat this entire fight doing this. You don't even have to do anything I'm doing right here. You don't even have to have the lump hammer or anything. Just force him around. Force him to chase you up those stairs. Like so. I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to spit the time to do this. I want him to fall damage death. I want to see. Do we have to fight this? No, it is completely optional. Let's watch him fall again. There it goes. He dead. The center has been judged. 
and we didn't have to do nothing. No, it was. No, it does appear that this. Hmm. This makes me wonder: Is it actually an optional boss fight? Can someone leave me a comment below? To tell me if this was actually optional because I was told this was optional. But I can't see it because if there was a wall behind me, there was a wall there too. And if that's the case, hmm, I don't know because this is the only way that I know of how to get to the castle area. Maybe I'm wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh boy, that's actually what I need right now. I need a couple more of those. So, Bell Bro, not a hard fight at all. Really isn't. I know some people think it is in some cases. I saw some comments before about that. Uh, people, when you when you come to my streams, man, like, look, my job is to find the most easiest and cheesiest way to get through half the stuff. So, and you need to complete that boss battle anyway if you want to continue on, which currently with the pumpkin patch event going on. So, there you go. Take that information how you want. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Adios.